In today's lesson, we're going to talk about the respiratory and urinary, urinary systems. The respiratory system is to carry gases between the outside air and your blood. Many parts of the respiratory system are coated with mucus. This mucus is a sticky, thick fluid that traps dust, germs, and other things in air, helping you not become sick and to prevent infection. Here are some of the parts of the respiratory system. The trachea is the tube that carries air from the larynx, which is at the top of your throat, to the lungs. This trachea leads to two branches, as you can see here, labeled bronchi. The bronchi carry the air into the lungs. The things branching out from the bronchi are bronchioles attaching to the lungs. There are also other parts to the there are also other parts to the respiratory system. The larynx includes the vocal cords. These vocal cords stretch across the larynx and when they vibrate, your voice comes out. Air sacs are thin walled pouches inside the lungs. They're in the lungs. This is where the oxygen enters the blood and carbon dioxide leaves the blood. These can also be called alveoli. So it's, alveoli are the site of gas exchange. As you can see in the diagram here, your blood comes in and takes the alveoli, takes the CO2 or the carbon dioxide out of the blood and puts oxygen in because they're attached to the lungs. The diaphragm. The diaphragm is a dome-shaped muscle that forms at the bottom of your chest. You can feel it. It's just above your stomach, just below your lungs. When you inhale, breathe in, your diaphragm moves down. When you exhale, your diaphragm moves out or pushes the air out. Cilia. We've talked about cilia in past lessons. These are tiny hair-like structures on cells and in linings of many parts of the respiratory system. Like I said in the beginning, the cilia help clean the air by waving very rapidly, keeping germs and microbes and debris from getting inside the lungs and harming you. Here's a microscopic picture of lung cilia. Here are the parts of the respiratory system labeled. Make sure you label your notes correctly from this diagram. So your nose and mouth take in air. The air goes through the pharynx and then the larynx, through the trachea, branch out through the bronchi, through the bronchioles, into your lungs where the alveoli get rid of the CO2 and give your blood oxygen. Your diaphragm helps along that whole process by moving the lungs up and down according to if you're inhaling or exhaling. When you hold your breath, carbon dioxide builds in your blood. Your brain senses this and sends a message to the diaphragm and rib muscles telling them to breathe. Now for the urinary system. The urinary system includes the kidneys. Urina urinary system is the system that gets rid of waste. So one part of them is the kidneys. The kidneys are pairs of organs that remove water, salt, and wastes from blood. They also regulate and control the level of salt and water in your blood. So they are filters. That's a good way to compare kidneys. They're a good filter of waste and salt. The bladder stores wastes, urine, until it's ready to leave the body. As you can see in this picture and in your notes, the bladder is a big sac-like structure and waste leaves through the urethra. So your lungs are also a part of the urinary system because they remove carbon dioxide, which is a waste. Carbon dioxide cannot be used by your body in any way, so it's removed. So the lungs are part of your respiratory system and urinary system. 
Your sweat glands are also a part of the urinary system. They release extra water, salt, and wastes as sweat. So sweat also is a waste product from your body and your sweat glands 